So consider this example. The two end points of a line are 20, 10 and 30, 18. So first consider slope of the line. Slope is equal to y2 minus y1, 18 minus 10, that is 8, x2 minus x1, that is 10. Slope value is less than 1. So slope value is less than 1 means that is unit x intervals. So each time x value is incremented by 1. So in this our aim is to calculate y coordinate. So calculate initial decision parameter p0 is equal to 2 delta y minus delta x. Delta y means y2 minus y1. Delta x means x2 minus x1. 2 into y2 minus y1. 2 into 8 minus 30 minus 1. So 2 delta y minus delta x value is equal to 6. So k, pk and the next two point xk plus 1 comma yk plus 1. Initially, k value is equal to 0. Pk, that is a P0 value. P0 value is 6. The first point is 20, 10, that is fixed. So, P0 value is greater than 0. So, we have already discussed the algorithm. Whenever P0 value, that is a Pk value, is less than 0, the next coordinate is xk plus 1, comma yk. So, remember, pk less than 0 is one case, pk <coughs> greater than or equal to 0, this is another case. In case of less than 0, xk plus 1, comma yk greater than or equal to 0, xk plus 1, comma yk plus 1. So, xk plus 1, 20 plus 1, 21. <coughs> Next to coordinate is greater than 0 means yk plus 1 that means 11. So next to calculate p1. So the formula is pk plus 1 is equal to pk plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x. This is the formula. So pk, p1 is equal to p0 plus 2 into delta y. Delta y value means 8. So 2 into 8, 16 minus delta x value is 10 minus 2 into 20, 10, 20. <coughs> that means the value is 16 plus 6, 24, 24 minus 24. So k is equal to 1, 4. Again the pk value is greater than 0. Greater than 0 means Next to y coordinate is incremented by 1. P2 is equal to same formula. P1 plus 2 delta y minus 2 delta x. So, 16 minus 20. So, 16 minus 20. So, total 20 minus 20 is 0. <coughs> 0. Sorry. K value is 2. P2 value is equal to 0. If it is greater than or equal to 0, if greater than or equal to 0, x coordinate is always incremented, y coordinate is incremented by 1, 13. P3 is equal to 0 plus 16 minus 20, that means minus 4. 3 minus 4, 24. <coughs> pk value is less than 0. Less than 0 means yk plus 1 value becomes yk. That is as is value 30. So p4. So whenever it is less than 0, pk plus 1 is equal to pk plus 2 delta y. This is the formula. So p4 is equal to p3 plus 2 into delta y. 2 into delta y means 16. That means the value is 12. 4, 12, 25 comma, it is greater than or equal to 0, so incremented by 1. <coughs> so 13 is incremented by 1, that is 4. P5 is equal to, if it is greater than 0, next to P5 formula is this one. If it is less than 0, 
formula is this one if it is greater than 0 p5 is equal to p4 that is 12 plus 16 minus 20 so 12 plus 16 28 28 minus 28 5 8 it is greater than 0 so 26 comma 15 p6 is equal to 8 plus 16 minus 20 that is 0 0 it is greater than or equal to 0 that means 27 comma 16 p7 is equal to 0 plus 16 minus 20 that means minus 4 7 minus 4 28 comma it is less than 0 same x value y value 16 p8 is equal to minus 4 plus only 2 delta y that is 16 now the value is 12 value is 12 29 comma 17 p9 is equal to 12 plus 16 minus 20 so again h thirty comma eighteen. So P ten is equal to eight plus sixteen minus twenty. That means four. So we are reaching the last point. <coughs> Here the step is not to reach the last point. So if the procedure is correct, we are reaching the last point after delta x number of times. So this is the critical delta x value means ten. We are starting from 0 to so total 10 number of steps. After completion of 10 number of steps, we are reaching the last point. This is the procedure for Bresselman's line drawing algorithm. Now consider one more example for slope greater than 1. Now this example. So calculate slope m is equal to 7 minus 1. So 7 minus 1 means 6. 6 by 1, 5. So slope value is greater than 1. <coughs> the slope value is greater than 1 means unit y intervals that is each time y value is incremented by 1 we have to calculate x value so initial decision parameter p0 is equal to 2 delta x minus delta y we are calculating derivation for slope less than 1 so slope less than 1 that initial decision parameter is 2 delta y minus delta x so simply interchange delta x and delta y terms to delta x minus delta y and also p k value is less than 0 next to coordinate is x k comma y k plus 1 p k value is greater than or equal to 0 next to x coordinate is x k plus 1 y coordinate is y k plus 1 and p k plus 1 is equal to P k plus 2 delta x minus 2 delta y. Here P k plus 1 is equal to P k plus 2 delta x. This is the formula. <coughs> Calculate P naught value. Delta x value is 5. So 5 into 2, 10. Minus delta y value is 6, that is 4. Again the same procedure k, P k. And next to coordinate x k plus 1 comma y k plus 1. K value 0. P naught value is 4. P naught greater than or equal to 0. So greater than or equal to 0 means next to x coordinate is previous one. <coughs> First point is 1 comma 1, 2 comma. Always y value is incremented by 1. Now P1 value is equal to P naught that is 4 plus 2 delta x. So here delta x is equal to 5, delta y is equal to 6. 2 delta x that is 10 minus 2 delta y 12. So value is equal to 2. <coughs> k is equal to 1. Value is equal to 2. So again greater than or equal to 0. Greater than or equal to 0 means x value is incremented by 1. Y value is by default incremented by 1. Now P2 is equal to P1 that is 2 plus 10 minus 12 that is 0. 
to 0 again greater than or equal to 0 4 comma 4 p3 is equal to 0 plus 10 minus 12 value is minus 2 <coughs> minus 2 if it is less than 0 pk value is less than 0 x value is fixed y value is incremented by 1 and p4 value is p3 that is minus 2 plus 2 into delta x that is m so value is equal to h h greater than 0 5 comma 6 p5 is equal to 8 plus 10 minus 12 that is 6 5 value is 6 next to coordinate is greater than 0 next to coordinate is 6 comma 7 p6 value is equal to 6 plus 10 minus 12 the value is 4 6 value is 4 so so sorry we are already getting the value 6 comma 7 so the end point is reached and the entire procedure repeats <coughs> delta y number of terms here slope greater than 1 means the procedure repeats delta y terms delta y value means 6 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 so the procedure repeats up to 6 terms and the end point is reached this is Brasenman's line drawing algorithm. Thank you.